In this video, we will show you how to replace the piston and buffer inside your Hilti DX460 powder actuated tool. There are several configurations of the tool, as you see here. Regardless of the fastener guides or attachments you use, the replacement process is exactly the same. Before starting any maintenance, be sure the tool is unloaded. Remove the cartridge strip in the tool by gripping the tab, then pulling it straight out through the top of the tool. Begin disassembly by removing the fastener guide or magazine assembly if installed and drive piston. Press and hold the silver button on the side of the fastener guide or magazine and unscrew it. Remove the fastener guide from the tool. The drive piston will likely come out with the fastener guide when removed. Separate these parts. If the piston did not come out, remove it from the tool. Next, remove the buffer. It is located in the fastener guide or magazine assembly. Grab the buffer and roll it out of the fastener guide. The piston buffer is a wear item and should be replaced whenever you change the piston. To ensure smooth and efficient operation of the DX460, it should be cleaned regularly. Every day after use is ideal, but at least within 5,000 fastenings. Parts that show powder residue on them should be cleaned. A cleaning kit is included with the Hilti DX460, and these kits can be purchased separately when needed. To reassemble the tool, begin by snapping the buffer into place on the fastener guide or magazine assembly. Set the piston into the piston guide sleeve, inserting the big end of the piston first, as far as it will go. Holding the tool securely, push the fastener guide firmly over the installed piston and into the guide sleeve assembly to engage the threads. Be sure that a buffer is installed on the fastener guide or magazine. Maintain pressure on the fastener guide and screw it into the tool until the fastener guide starts clicking or ratcheting. Before use, verify the tool is assembled and operating correctly. Without loading a cartridge strip, depress the tool against a firm surface and pull the trigger. The firing pin should release making an audible click. The tool is now ready for use. If the tool is equipped with a magazine option, load a strip of nails in the magazine to perform this function test. Be sure to check out more videos on the Hilti North America YouTube channel, including our how-to video series. You'll also find a video showing how to completely clean and inspect your DX460 powder actuated tool. Find more information about maintenance in your tool owner's manual. For more complex repairs, contact Hilti Customer Service.